So legato exercises are for the birds. What do I mean by for the birds? Well, we can do them all day long, and if you don't do the right things, they're meaningless, like a lot of other exercises. So if we practice like this, No, that really is not going to teach us anything. What I'd like to do is introduce a little exercise to you now, which involves using the tongue. So if you take any note and whistle, doesn't matter what the pitch is, doesn't matter how high you go, what is actually changing the pitch inside your mouth? Well, what is changing the pitch is the movement of your tongue. As your tongue gets higher, inside is actually increasing the speed of air. So, why not use this on the flute? for legato and for large intervals. Let me introduce you to a very nice exercise just based on the note B. Again, the reason I picked B, it works particularly well. So if I play just B, with a nice sort of round sound, what I'm then gonna do is take that same B and just change the shape of my tongue. I'm not gonna do anything with the airstream as far as speed from down here. What I'm doing is, as I'm changing my uh, tongue shape, it's actually changing the harmonic shape as well. Now, I don't know how, I don't know what harmonic shape is, but it's introducing some of the upper parcels, which is what we want to achieve the next octave up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get a double octave with B here and B up there, by just using my tongue and not, not my air. Nearly. Now don't worry if you don't achieve this right away. Again, as I've said before, you're not in McDonald's. You try and get, by actually trying this, you're teaching yourself good legato. So I, I think I got sort of two notes there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing and just gradually, when, I, when I'm comfortable with the double octaves, I'm going to just increase my speed of air and hopefully I'll end up with a top B. That's all with the use of the tongue. So we come back to this Moïse exercise that maybe all of us know. If you start using your tongue, it becomes much easier and much nicer. And this doesn't mean that you need to change armature so much then, because actually everything you need to do is from the inside. Let's go back to this exercise again. I'm going to play this B with as open a sound as I can. Then I'm going to change shape. And at the other end comes the, the upper B. Take time over this, it's well worth it, it's a very simple exercise, but it just gives you a whole idea of how using your tongue shape can really affect the colour and the legato. Then going downwards, think, yeah, you just have to go downwards, it's much easier. That's simple, so that one simple exercise, remember, the journey is much more important than the destination.